Hello everyone, recently this user called Bob Pony on Twitter discovered that the Windows 11 system requirements has changed. So these are the previous system requirements for Windows 11 as you can see 1 gigahertz of 1 gigahertz of processor for GB of RAM, 64 GB of storage, uh, for system firmware, UEFI and then secure board must be enabled, finally TPM. However, when he tried to uh, install the Windows 11, you can see that it is saying that this PC does not uh, meet the Windows 11 system requirements. One of them is POP CNT. Now, what is POP CNT? POP CNT stands for popular population count, and they are used to count the amount of one in numbers of binary representation. So, if I have to put it in simple words, older PCs have the POP CNT. So, it means you are good to go to install Windows 11 if your uh, computer is Core i3. Core i5 or Core i7 or Core i9. So it is no problem at all. Aside from that, if you wish to simply go ahead and check if your computer has the ability to run the Windows 11 uh, 24 h 2 uh, you can uh, run this um, or download download this application called cpu dash c i have already created a video for it uh, inside my channel that is available you must install this application and then check for sse 4.2 if your processor has this it means you are able to run the windows 11 24h2 for an intel uh, uh, sorry for an amd processor you have to look for sse 4a if it was available there then you are good to go aside from that uh, there is also another uh, tool from Microsoft called Core Info, you have to open it inside terminal and then you have to simply go ahead type Core Info dash F sorry dash F and now go ahead look for pop cnt if it was there it means your pc is able to run the windows 11 if it was not there it means your pc is not able to run windows 11 24h2 so do not worry these are mostly for older pcs for now have a nice day goodbye and i'll meet you guys in the next video